Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bird, and we're going to work on our subtraction. First, we need to go over some important vocabulary words. Subtract. When you subtract, you take some away and get a smaller number. 8, take away 5. We subtracted, and now we have less donuts left. Now we have 3 donuts left. 3 is smaller than 8. Minus. The minus sign tells us to subtract. 8 minus 5. Equals. The equal sign helps show what's left. 8 minus 5 equals 3. Difference. The difference is the answer or what is left after you've taken away, after you've taken some away. So in 8 minus 5 equals 3. The difference is that 3. The answer is the difference. Okay, now we're going to review over a really fancy word called the minuend. The minuend is the first number in a subtraction sentence. It's the number that has something taken away from it. So in 8 minus 5 equals 3, the minuend is the 8. Now we're going to learn the other, the last part to a subtraction sentence. It's called the subtrahend. The subtrahend is the number that's being taken away. So in 8 minus 5 equals 3, the 5 is how many are getting X'd out. So that is the subtrahend. Hey okay, boys and girls, today we're going to be looking at using a 10 frame. Now, you could draw a 10 frame or you could make one out of the egg carton like Miss Liz showed you. Just make sure that it has 10 boxes. Now for five minus one, you would add five counters. Now it could be the circles like in the picture. It could be pieces of cereal. It could be toys. It could be five of anything. Then when it says minus one, you're going to take one away and then count how many counters you have left. Okay, boys and girls, let's try this out. Nine minus three. So you would start out by putting nine counters into your 10 frame. Let's count it and make sure we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the menu end is the nine. It says minus three. So that's our subtrahend. Let's take away three. So I'm going to take away one, take away two, take away three. And then we would want to count how many are left. What's the difference? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the difference is six. Great job. Okay, our next one, 10 minus zero equals. So we need to start out with 10. And our whole thing is filled up, so we know that's 10 minus zero. Well, that means we are not gonna take any away. We're gonna leave it just the same way it is. So what would be the difference? we would still have 10. All right, eight minus two. So we always start out with that first number, our menu end. We should have eight. Let's count and make sure we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have eight now, minus two. So let's get rid of those. Minus one, minus two. Let's count how many are left. What's the difference? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nine minus four. Let's count and make sure that we have nine. Ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now minus four, take those away. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four. How many are left? What's the difference? Five. All right, boys and girls, if you liked using a 10 frame to subtract, then you could draw one out or use an egg carton that you cut off the two. Make sure you have 10 spots. Whatever it says for your first number, that's how many you start with. Then take away some, depending on what it says. It'll say minus, and it'll tell you how many to take away. Great job.